day, raging racers of the Outer Rim. I'm on Silent and we're on the air with Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Well, I did promise something that you wouldn't find on your gogs or your steams or your origins when we had Star Wars Month kicking off and we're kicking it off with 1999's Episode 1 Racer. The one good thing that came out of the prequel trilogy apart from new John Williams music and Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we are going to do the tournament mode. It has been... God, how long has it been since I've actually played this game? I actually have it. I actually have it on CD. It's running off the CD. You could tell this game is 17 years old. It um, does not play well with Windows 10. So there are... If you go on the PC Gaming Wiki, you could find like three or four ways to get this thing up and working. I think I'm using like DX Voodoo or some such like that. It works ish. It crashes frequently, but uh, it's working. It doesn't look particularly pretty, but you can turn up the graphics. Stability, on the other hand, is questionable. So, Episode 1 Racer is based off of the pod racing scene that was probably the highlight of Episode 1. Completely pointless, uh, but hey, it was fun. It was good visuals. Everyone seemed to like it. I mean, hell, some people can even complain about the, the lightsaber fighting in Episode 1 because it seemed more like dancing than it did, um, you know, an actual fight to the death. It certainly picked up after Qui-Gon died. I, I think that there was more emotion and storytelling in the lightsaber battle after Qui-Gon died. Spoilers for Episode 1 don't count because it's a 17-year-old movie. If you haven't watched it, I you haven't watched it and you're not planning to, so... This, watching this game is not going to convince you to watch Episode 1. So, Episode 1 Racer takes it through the international, or uh, international, interstellar Outer Rim pod racing circuit. You can play as Anakin Skywalker in his pod from the movie. Um, just take my word for it, that's Anakin Skywalker. You can see it says at the top, it doesn't look like Jake Lloyd. It, it's supposed to be. He actually voices Anakin in this game. Uh, there's E.B. Endicott, who I used to play when I was uh, when I was gaming back in the day when I played uh, Episode One Racer. We've got Dud Bolt, who I I can't remember if he was actually in the movie or not. Gasgano, yes, he was actually in the movie. Elan Mack seems vaguely familiar. Odie Mandrell, I recognize the pod even if I don't recognize him. And uh, that's all we've got. So that's uh, six that you've got unlocked at the start of the game. As you go through the tournament mode, which is functionally the career mode, you can uh, improve the... Uh, you can... I can remember you can upgrade your, your uh, racers. And you can unlock new ones by winning at the various tracks. You unlock the track champions. So I played as E.B. Endicott back in the day, and I want a challenge. Not too big a challenge, not Elan Mac level challenge. But, you know what, screw it. I wanted to see how far can I take E.B. Endicott was my first plan. How far can I take E.B. Endicott without upgrading him? How far can I take Elan Mac without upgrading him? You know what the hell? This I've played this one before. I think this is the first game on the this is the first game on the channel that I've uh, ne that I have actually played. So you know what, screw it. Elon Mac, and we're just going to try and take him as far as we can without upgrading him. And we're going to start with the Bunta training course. Uh, that is not quite the same uh, Bunta Eve racetrack that we had uh, in the movie. That is, I can't scroll over to it, but I'll use the mouse here. This one here, number seven, I remember this one is the actual Bunta Classic. It's like a three minute lap and all the races are three laps long. So that's a that's gonna be a long one, but we're going to start with the Bunta training course. We must place fourth or better to progress. I thought it was third or better to progress. So this is the main menu. Well, it's the pre-race menu. So we can inspect the vehicle, buy upgrades, buy parts, visit the junkyard, buy pit droids, or change the vehicle. Well, this we are never going to do. We're never going to change the vehicle. We're just going to go and we're going to start the race. Now, prior to every race, 
there's one of these little cutscenes introducing the track and the crime lord who runs a particular race. Welcome to Tatooine, pod race fans. Our glorious host, Jabba the Hutt, has moved into the arena. <laughs> Yabo de Jabba the Hutt. Still looks better than Jabba the Hutt in the special edition. Oh, it crashed. Well, I did tell you that the uh, game was prone to crashing. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Three, two, one, lights out, and away we go. Oh my goodness, we are just unbelievably slow. Holy mother of God. All right, well, I remember a few. Oh, we crashed into Sebulba. That went well. Uh, so. I've set this up on my Xbox One controller. You can do that. I used to play this on an actual... Oh my. The state... Of, now, one. This is... Oh, this is a terrible pod. Yeah, we are going to just... Oh, this thing is just unbelievably slow. This is... a uh, shit pod. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's the one thing I could not get to work when setting up my Xbox controller. I used to use my old, um, I actually have a joystick that runs through a parallel port. Not even through a USB. I've had that thing since I had, uh, our first Windows computer growing up was on 3.1. The old Compact Presario ran on 3.1. This ran on the second computer we ha ever had around here, which was on 98 which we need to upgrade from 3.1 to 98 because my dad was an accountant and he needed his uh, accounting software to work on it. So, you can boost by nosing down towards the ground. That'll uh, fill up your boost bar on the right, and then you push the boost button, and it'll get you going a little faster, but your engines will overheat and eventually catch fire. Now, every pod does have a little bit of different uh, statistics. Oh, you can also roll there. My roll... Uh, for some reason, it's inverted, so if I flick my right stick, unfortunately, when I tilt right, I go left, and when I tilt my right stick left, I roll right. Get used to hearing it's a new lap record a lot. We're going to be setting a few of them, though. Oh my goodness, this thing does not turn. Uh, now, overheating, if you look at the bar on the right, and we'll try, man, the thing does not cool down very quickly. If we can find a straight, I will show you how the overheating works. Because once the you hit boost, the bar on the right, your sp I guess the closest equivalent to your tack, it goes to zero. Can I get it? There you go. And then as it starts to fill... No, we hit a rock. But as it starts to fill up, then your heat warning comes up. And there it's going to overheat. Now when it hits the top? Yeah, uh, we just missed the top, but if, if it reached the top, the engine would have caught fire and we would have had to hit the repair button. There is a repair button. But for the worst pod in the game available to us from the start, we seem to have decimated the opposition. Let's see how well we did. We beat Sebulba by 10 seconds. Oh, and listen to Watto. <laughs> Watto hums the uh, cantina theme. So, the next race is Mon Gaza Speedway. Now, if memory serves, this was actually probably the easiest track in the game. The Mon Gaza Spice Mine. Second only to Kessel in spice production. The air is thick with tension out there today. Yes, not to mention all that dust. <laughs> I see that our host, the guild boss himself, the infamous Grop Suga, is about to signal the start of the race. Now, I always thought spice was supposed to be some sort of drug because... Because I thought... Oh, I didn't, didn't realize that the uh, engines also rotated. Two, one, lights out, and what an appalling start. I always thought that Spice was some sort of uh, drug, which is... Um, 
why Han Solo was in so much trouble for uh, dumping a load of it when the Imperials came sniffing, which is how he ended up with that bounty that Jabba had on him. Oh, I'm not going to make that. No, we didn't make that. Oh, we set a new life record, though. That's pretty good. So, when the color commentator fella said, Oh, it's the air is filled with dust. No, you're high as a... No, we're not going to make that turn. Okay, handling does not go so well in this pod. But we've already, after one and a half laps, caught 12th place and put him a lap down. We held it, we held it. The game stuttered. I thought we were about to go into the crash animation, but we didn't. Well, we crashed. I'm trying to like, whoa, that was close. Nope, bounced off the wall and there's the new lab record. Oh, look, it's an animation. What's, oh, we unlocked them. We unlocked, um, I remember this, this is, uh, I think it was Team Toe Pagalese. Yeah. So it's an 80 second race, an 82 second race, and we won by 12 seconds. 14 seconds. Gee, my math will be all right. Won by 14 seconds, that's not too bad. And by a minute over 12th place. I mean, as much as I don't like running a Zealan Mac, it could be worse. Neva Key seems to be pretty damn slow. Now on to Ando Prime for Beto's Wild Ride. I guess it's named. If you got a racetrack or a race named after you, you must be pretty good. Welcome, pod racing fans, to Ando Prime, home of the benevolent Andobi Bindu monks. Your host, the wisest of the wise, Ten Abu Donba. So, what we've got here is the. Buddhist monks of the Star Wars galaxy, the Buddhist monks of the Outer Rim. They even decided to add in a little uh, statues and obstruction. Wow, that was close. I was like, turn one at an F1 race. Everyone just kind of piles in together and you all hope you could come out the other side. So I don't know if this game's got slipstreaming, but we just used that successfully to pull into the lead. Can we shortcut this? Yes, we can, but I might have slightly hit the wall there. Whoa. Crap. Oh, no, we survived. We survived. Good. Crap, we didn't survive. Nope, we... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, it was like driving on ice. It wasn't just like running on ice. It was like literally driving on ice because I had absolutely no control on that ice. That was a bit more entertaining than I had intended it to be. Oh, right. I wanted to uh, show you guys how it looked when it overheated and what ends up happening. We will uh, demonstrate that at some point. Actually, we've got a straight coming up here. Nope. Nope. We're not going to be able to demonstrate that because I can't keep it off the walls. Now there you can see, it just... Oh, now we're going to be able to use the repair function to put the engine out. And fix up the engine. Still repairing, still repairing. There we go. Now if you were watching the bottom right, I hope you were watching the bottom right of the screen because when the bottom right filled up on the boost, that's when the engine caught fire. So that's your little trick to knowing when your engine's about to catch fire in this game, if they ever re-release it. They did. Oh, and, uh, and there, just hit the brake just as we were about to catch fire. They did re-release uh, Star Wars Racer Revenge for the uh, PlayStation 4s, like the PS2 emulated classics, whatever the hell they're calling it. It's part of the whole uh, Here's Battlefront on PS4, look at how great it is collection, uh, for lack of a better term. This came with what? Um, let's test my memory here because this is about the only bit of Star Wars uh, racer trivia that actually st still exists in the wild. Because it was what? Racer Revenge and Bounty Hunter. I want to say there was something else that was on the PS2 that they had. 
Ah, that's a wall, that's a wall, that's a wall, that's a wall. I was going to set down the right path just to see if it was different, but no, I guess we're going to take the left one again. Fortunately, they didn't do Super Bombad Racing, which uh, we can talk a bit about in the next race. We'll come across the line in first. Oh, we didn't set a new lap record. That's a shame. But we are going to uh, back in. Uh, I, for I, I forget what this guy's name was. He was a track champion, I remember that. Aldar Beto, that was it. That was his name. They keep winning these Trug Nuts. Oh, Sabobo's in this race. I didn't even see him. Now, Trug Nuts are the currency that you use to upgrade. We'll talk about that in the next video, but for this video, let's finish with a... Aquilaris. I think that's how you say it. Aquilaris Classic on Aquilaris down in the bottom right there. Clegg Holdfast is the track favorite, so it's the track favorites who are the ones you unlock by winning the race. To progress to the next level of the career mode or tournament, you have to place fourth or better. But if you actually want to unlock the, that little guy in that... I was going to say it's a shitty JPEG, but I mean, it is upscaled. It was probably designed to run at most at like, what, 1024 by 768? And here it is in like 1280 by 720. So eh, maybe it's just widenings made it look bad. Anyway, let's uh, actually do the damned race. I do kind of wonder if any of the tracks or plants they created for this uh, game showed up anywhere else in like the Star Wars universe, like um, in Clone Wars. This evening here on the ocean world, Aquilaris. Aquilaris. Setting for one of the most scenic pod races in the galaxy. Scenic pod racing because scenic racing works so well for Formula One. Governess, the Nave Vengaris. One thing I will say I prefer about Episode 1 Racer already to um, playing flat out is... Oh, the light uh, ab the little light above the uh, start changes from red to orange to yellow to green as it gets ready to go. I was going to say, one thing that I like about this already compared to flat out is that um, you're starting from the front and not necessarily from the back as woo, we are getting in some tussling for the lead. They are right up my chuff, though, so we can see that's how well we can manage. Because any little slip and we're going to fall out of the lead. All right, we've got boost we can use. So let's use some of that as we flow down into the tunnel. Ah, oh, crap. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It's nice, all these tracks do have their own personality, though, so... Even if it's... The graphics are a little dated, there's nice little environmental touches, like being under the water, even if the underwater isn't great, even if there's nothing happening... Oh, never mind, there was a... Oh, that was the, uh, that was Qui-Gon's, uh... Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan and Jar Jar used one of those, um... Gungan pod things. Oh, crap. This thing handles like a transport truck with a jet engine. Ah, well, that's a new lap record. Actually, we are listing to the... Yeah, actually, we are listing to the right because it fixed the engine. It cut out the right engine. I was going to say, we're listing to the right because only the left engine had any thrust while the game was doing... Well, I guess uh, the, the pod was doing repairs. Oh, crap. Um, that wasn't even the right pod. Well, I mean, it was, the right pod exploded, but it was the left pod that was grinding on the ground. Now we'll boost into the tunnel, but we know that the game is going to... All right. Whoa, it's going to close the door on me. Ooh, ho, oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, crap. Yep, yep, that was mom. That was on me. It always went to the... It always went to the right. It never went to the left. So when I tried out the game to make sure it worked, I went back to my old stand by E.B. Endicott. But... This is legitimately my first time running uh, Elon Mac, and oh my god, is this a terrible pod. 
compared to Eevee. Just no speed, no acceleration. Oh, there we go. It just did the same thing on the same lap. Just boost into the boost into the tunnel and destroy myself by uh, turning a little hard and scraping my uh, my pot against the ground. Out of the last turn. Whoop, off the wall a couple times and across the line with a new lap record. I'd say that one turned out reasonably well. All right. Back it up. Back it up. You're all right. Back. Back. And 1,200 more truck nuts despite crashing at every single opportunity one by 16 seconds. That's not too bad. And that will do it for this episode of Episode 1 Racer. Time for the fancy new ending screen. So thank you very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos up on the screen. And until the next time, I'm Unsigned. Thanks very much for joining me, and we'll see you next time.